What's up, YouTube? This is Chris, Music City Driver. Um, wanted to do a quick video. Um, I feel like a lot of the spotlight has been on Uber lately with the 180 days of change. But Lyft has been making some moves as well. Um, you may have seen my video before about now Lyft is testing the ability to basically see a passenger's destination before you accept a ride. That's being tested in New Jersey currently. Um, it looks like you would have to maintain a 90% acceptance rating. I kind of shared my thoughts on that. I think it's kind of a, a ploy to basically make you accept every ride that they give you, whether you know, which kind of defeats the purpose of my opinion if you wanted to be able to choose where you want to go or whatever. So anyway, they just released a new update to the Lyft driver app yesterday. And from what I can see, it's actually pretty cool. It's uh, if you haven't updated it yet, I do recommend that you do so. I have not tried this um, feature live yet as far as actually using it, but you can take a look at it now. Um, if you go on in your Lyft driver app, you can now see that there are a ride history here. That was not there before. So before you had to go into your driver summary, um, look at your driver history, actually go onto a browser onto the website to look at this stuff. So now you can actually see, see I've had some cancellations, passenger cancel, that was one that canceled before I even got there. Getting some good rides here. Um, one good, good thing I love about Lyft is I seem to get a tip on every single ride, whether it's $4.50 or whether it's $12, I always get, seem to get a tip most of the time. So anyway, um, what's so cool here is, like I said before, you had to look at your riding history separately, your driving history separately. So now you can go to each one and you can click on a specific one. This is basically just like the Uber app almost. Um, it shows you where your pickup was, where your drop off was. Um, tells you what your drive payment, ride payment was, how long it was, um, distance wise and time wise. Um, it shows if you had prime time involved, which this one did, um, and tips and fees. And then it also has a get help button. Now this is not as comprehensive as Uber's version, but um, if you see, it shows you how much you were paid, the payment, the prime time, the tips, the fees that were taken out, the total that you get, $28.61 on this particular one. And if you have a question about the ride, select a reason. They only have several, like four different reasons here. Paying for a toll, accidentally ended the ride early, was involved in an accident, or the car was damaged. So that's not as comprehensive of a list as Uber has. Um, uh, you can also visit the help center still to to do that. So I, I just found this really interesting that they made a change that made them made their app a little bit more similar to Uber's app. So I'm just kind of curious about how that's going to work out. Um, one of the things that I've had a biggest the biggest problem with with Lyft is plus rides. Um, not really necessarily plus rides themselves, but when you show up for a regular Lyft ride and there's more than four people. Um, I do have a plus vehicle. I can fit six people in here besides myself. So when you show up for that on Uber, you can go in and you can say, hey, there were more people than an X ride should accommodate. Um, and it will give you an adjustment to that fare to make it an Uber XL fare. Um, on Lyft, however, they did it one time for me because as a courtesy because they said they don't allow that to happen. They don't allow that to uh, be adjusted basically that if next time that happens, I'm to have the customer cancel the ride, uh, which could incur them another $5 a fee, and then re-request as a plus, which to me is just not only a pain in the butt for you, but for your customer as well. So basically if they cancel the ride after you get there, they could incur a $5 fee, $5 um, cancellation fee and then on top of that they've got to request another ride um, so it can make you look bad it can make you make them a little bit annoyed at you etc so um, they don't allow you to do an adjustment afterwards and it still doesn't look like they're able to, they, they will do that I don't know maybe through the help center they're able to do that now maybe they will do that I don't know but anyway I just wanted to make this quick video to just show you these extra features that have been added to the driver app for the Lyft driver app so um, thank you guys for watching. I'm at the car wash, just washed my car. I'm preparing to go out and drive a little bit later tonight. Um, hopefully get some match tips from Uber. Um, anyway, 
if you guys uh thank you so much for watching a little bit over five minute video not too bad um if you have any uh comments about anything i've said please post them below um, as usual in the description you will find links to um, uber and lyft if you want to become a driver also links to the maestro app if you want to go ahead and subscribe to that um, and, and use my referral code which is cs05033 that may be changing very soon they're coming up with a new um, referral scheme but anyway guys um, if you would uh, just please comment below please like comment share and subscribe and i really appreciate it if you're out driving drive safe and get those tips.